Good evening to you, friends. Greg Merriweather here with Elizabeth Val. One local pastor, get this, has locked himself inside a prayer room and says he refuses to come out until crime in Baton Rouge gets better. The same pastor originally opened the prayer room in the 90s when crime and drugs were bad then. Now he's hoping for another miracle. Here's Chris Rosado with his story. So crime in the capital city has dominated the conversation around Baton Rouge and really since the pandemic. And this local pastor is hoping through the power of prayer, the city can be healed. It's impossible for someone to really be sincere about seeking God without drawing other men and women to pray. Since the beginning of May, Bishop Dwight Pate at Church Point Ministries in North Baton Rouge has locked himself away in this prayer room, praying to God to heal the city and bring crime down. And the only place that it can be solved is the, the church, you know, and the teaching and the loving of, the, of God's people. So I believe that prayer can change the hearts of the individuals that's creating all the violence in town. What started as a used car lot that he purchased in 1981 now stands as the center point of his mission. The 68-year-old pastor first opened it in 1994, where he stayed locked away for nearly eight months. It was there where folks were free to come and receive holy oil. And then he locked himself away again in the year 2000 for five months to identify pain and suffering of the elderly. And now it's open yet again. A spirit of peace can spread all over Baton Rouge and create a new uh, standard of what I call righteousness and brotherly love. You know, we are our brother's king. Instead of praying with folks right away, he decided to instead preach to 50 empty chairs. Those chairs quickly filled up with people looking to get away from things like drugs and prostitution. And I used to put 50 chairs out here on the lot and preach to the empty chairs on the floor until it became one of the major outreaches in the city. And people are coming right off the street from their homes down there. I've been here being delivered from drugs, alcohol, marital problems, sickness. Pate says if he's learned anything in his 44 years of ministry, it's that God works in mysterious ways. It's going to be such a move of God among people. It's going to be such a move of some of the most violent people in this city. Instead of out here killing and robbing and hurting people, bringing peace and joy and victory and forgiving and love, that you're going to have to come out and report it. So Pastor Pate tells me he plans to distribute around 200,000 bottles of holy oil to folks all around the capital city. And as for when he plans to leave the prayer house, that's between him and God. Chris Rosado, WAFB, 9 News. Back to you. Very touching there.